Yes, you read the title correct. You can now use the iPad as a gaming monitor, or really just an external monitor for anything with an HDMI out. And it is actually something that I was looking forward to to be able to use the iPad for when I originally bought it. It is the perfect portable monitor, and if you have the smaller iPad mini, this can be used for so many different configurations. So sit back, and let's get into it. When Apple released iPad OS 17 back in September, it brought the ability to plug in certain USB-C devices into the iPad that did not work before. This includes capture cards, which allows you to plug in an HDMI cable and display it on the screen. For this reason, we can now plug in anything with an HDMI output into the iPad. Not every iPad is compatible, unfortunately. You do need an iPad with USB-C. Nothing with a lightning connector will work here. So iPad 10, iPad Air 2020 or later, iPad mini 2021 or later, and an iPad Pro 2018 or later. The software I am using at the time of making this video is called Orion. It is free on the App Store. They do have an in-app purchase of $4.99, which unlocks 4K AI upscaling and filters that make your screen look like an older CRT monitor. Interesting, but I did not bite, as it's something that does not interest me. But if I do pick up one of those retro consoles that allows you to play original NES games or Super Nintendo games, then I will definitely be buying that upgrade to give it that full retro experience. So to get started, all that is needed for extra equipment is a USB-C capture card. I have one here that I purchased on Amazon. I don't remember the name of the brand, so I will leave a link down in the description. But this capture card included a USB cable that had both USB-A and USB-C. So I can and have used this with my PC for accepting other HDMI sources and being able to record them using software on my PC. Of course, starting out, I went for the consoles first. I tried an Xbox Series S and a Nintendo Switch. With the Xbox, everything worked really well. There is a tad bit of screen latency here. Any competitive games or games that require precise movement or input may not be the best games to play. I did try multiple cables and it seems that if you do use an HDMI 2 or even 2.1, the latency does get better. But even using an HDMI 2.1 cable, which has a maximum capacity of 48 gigabytes per second, still doesn't eliminate the latency. Therefore, it is either based on the capture card or the software that we are using. And unfortunately, I don't have a different capture card that has USB-C. I tried with a few different game titles from Xbox Game Pass, which has a crazy amount of different titles for you to choose and is the flat out reason why I bought the Series S. With the Nintendo Switch, things became even more apparent. The lag became more noticeable. I'm not exactly sure, but it may just be that the way the Switch sends the signal. I am using the official Nintendo dock that comes with the Switch, but same goes here. Games that don't require those precise inputs can be enjoyed. Mario Galaxy, Zelda are games that I played and enjoyed using this device. Smash Bros, Splatoon were just barely playable as they require quick reflexes and just didn't create a great experience. So it really depends on the type of games that you want to play on this type of screen. But gaming isn't the only use for this new feature. You can use the iPad as a portable monitor. The amount of 14 to 18 inch monitors that have shown up in setup videos in the last year or two have exploded. And with the Mac line being able to take advantage of using the iPad with the same mouse and keyboard, PC users can now use the iPad as a second, third, or even fourth display, depending on how many ports you have in your video card. But the issues were the exact same. There is still input delay even while using this on a PC. So I would not use this for PC gaming. But if you have a mini PC and want a portable screen, then this might be the perfect answer to your setup. A third option is to use this as a camera monitor. I am currently using my iPhone 15 Pro to record this. I have a USB-C dongle, the HDMI, sending it out to this capture card that is then plugged into my iPad. 
so I can see and make sure that the shot is properly lined up, and this can also be done with bigger cameras as well. Now, I wouldn't go and replace a gaming monitor or a 65-inch TV with this, but this is a nice addition to an already great list of features that the iPad can do. And if you have one of the iPads mentioned and a spare capture card, you should absolutely try this yourself. I think you can really create a unique experience with the portability that the iPad brings. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you made it this far. Subscribe if you're new, and I will see you in the next upload.